All right. Hello, citizens of the Nigerverse. It is Niger here once again. So, last week, Friday on SmackDown, so not last night's episode, but the week before that, uh, first of all, that episode was in Buffalo, so I was there to witness it live. I've, uh, hey, but also, oh, it was announced that, that the women of SmackDown are finally getting the Women's United States Championship. That's right, WWE has finally created a women's mid-card championship. Now, oh, I had kind of spoken a bit about, um, about, oh, uh, women's mid-card titles in WWE, how, how I would be excited for them, but I also have my drawbacks or concerns, uh, and the first one being, I kind of, uh, and mainly, I did want to kind of be called something different, only because, as, uh, as the women's U.S. title, just like the men's U.S. title, I kind of wanted the women's title to be its its own thing, but uh, but I recognize also that there are not a whole lot of uh not a whole lot of words you can use for championships. So I'm ultimately fine with the naming. It's not it's not a bad name. It's just you kind of uh, at least I kind of wanted it to be its own thing. But it's it's understandable. You know, you had the men's U.S. title and now you have the women's U.S. title. Oh, but also, oh, my concern is that and with how WWE had booked the women's tag team title division. I would hope that they wouldn't uh, would make the same mistakes with the women's uh, with the women's mid card title. Well, thankfully now they're kind of getting the tag team title scene, uh, the women's tag team title scene back on track, uh, which is good to see. Uh, but um, but I, I wish they would have. Did a little bit more with the women's tag team titles, but but uh, but nevertheless, I am still excited. Uh, women's mid card championships is something that people have been asking for a long time. I'm and and us to the point where even some of the talent uh, uh, said they would love some women's mid card titles, including Rhea Ripley wanting a women's intercontinental championship. Now, at the time of this recording, the women's intercontinental championship, from what I've been able to find, hasn't been announced yet. Uh, as, uh, I imagine, and it probably it probably won't be too long before that's announced. I don't, you know, have the women's U.S. title for SmackDown, and then have the women's intercontinental title for Raw. Uh, so, so I imagine that's probably on the horizon. In fact, that might be uh, that might have been at one of the pre-taped Raws. I'm trying, I'm trying my best to avoid spoilers. Some, um, I was spoiled, unfortunately. Hey, but, um, but yeah. So, oh, uh, oh, no women's intercontinental championship just yet, but the. But the Women's United States Championship is here. But now that the Women's United States Championship is here, now everyone's question is, who's going to be the first? Because somebody obviously has to be the first to hold that championship. Who's going to be the first Women's United States Champion? And now I've seen a lot of people throw around a lot of names. And a lot of them uh, um, uh, do. A lot of them I would be interested in seeing. I know uh, they had the triple threat yesterday, and Bailey advanced in the Women's United States title. Uh, Women's United States title picture. I know a lot of people have kind of mixed feelings about that because, as on one hand, having Bailey, someone with the star power of Bailey, being the first Women's United States ch uh, champion, and would be it be a really good boost for that title. But at the same time, Bailey was just Women's World Champion not that long ago. She lost it at SummerSlam. Damn, uh, damn, that was earlier this year. That was only a few months ago. So, uh, so her getting another championship so soon after, I know, probably, I know, kind of rubs some people the wrong way. Uh, but that's uh, uh, some other names I've seen uh, floating around as to who people want to win the Women's United States Championship. Uh, some have said Meechin. She's been doing uh, really good. She's been getting kind of a mini push. Which as of late, uh, some have said Chelsea Green. She she's been doing some uh, really fun character work. Her, uh, her, uh, her, uh, some have said Naomi. I I wouldn't. I personally wouldn't mind uh, Naomi winning the United States uh, Championship. I think I even saw one or two people say Jade Cargill, which it's uh, Jade Cargill. Her having a uh, her having a uh, mid card title. Well, uh, women's mid card title being the first women's mid card title, I think, would be a really great way to establish her her uh, in the singles round. She's mostly been you know teaming uh, tagging up with Bianca Belair, which has worked out what which worked out fine for her. You know, they're women's tag team champions and everything. But that's uh, but uh, with Jay Cargill 
will inevitably be going solo at some point, because I'm, I'm fairly certain she, he's going to go solo at some point. But her winning uh, the title, well, her being the first to hold it, it, I think, would be really cool as well. It'd be a really great boost for her and for the title. And lest we forget, Jay Cargill was the inaugural AEW uh, TBS champion, and, uh, and aka the women's mid-card title in AEW. Uh, so her being the inaugural United States champion, uh, here, the women's United States champion would be really cool to see. Uh, yeah, who are some other names? Names that I think would be would make for some good inaugural champions. Uh, Candice LeRae, I wouldn't mind seeing her win uh, the title. Excuse me, P uh, Piper Niven. That one I did see as well. Uh, some people said they would like to see Piper Niven win the uh, women's United States championship. If that would be a I think she would make a good first champion, and like the thing is, there's a lot of possibilities, and and now uh, with the women's mid card title, it'll essentially serve the same purpose that the men's mid card title is, that being the women that you don't necessarily want to win the women's world championships just yet. Now, how uh, in the mid card have kind of something to fight for, and it can uh, elevate them to that uh, to that main event uh, women's world title status. So this would be a good stepping point. Like I said, just like just like the men's mid card title. Well, there's a number of uh, champions who who won the mid card title first before winning the world title. Well, now there's some that went the inverse where they won the world title first and then won the mid card title. That's happened several times, but uh, but otherwise using the mid card title is kind of a springboard to the world title I, well, I think if you did it that way while also still having some good champions and some good feuds with the women's united states champion and, and ship i think that uh would really pay dividends and uh and and i imagine it'll do the same for raw once the women's intercontinental championship is announced now i did i, I was gonna hold off until the title has been announced but but uh, I, I figured I'd strike while the iron is hot. The title hasn't been announced yet. It's probably not going to be announced too long from now. I'd be surprised if there was a really long gap between the Women's United States Championship being announced and then uh, the Women's Intercontinental Championship being announced. But but, uh, but yeah, I am excited to see what they do with the Women's United States uh, title division. Just make it fun. Uh, you don't necessarily have to give them the main event slot uh, each and every week. He, uh, at least for the uh, United States title, but give them some interesting feuds. Uh, make the title mean something. Hey, uh, hey, uh, essentially do most of what you did for the men, for the men's because uh, as the men's mid card titles haven't always been booked the best either. But uh, but, uh, but uh, yeah, just make the title mean something. Give us a first like really good champion, and uh, maybe do who uh, they're already doing the tournament, which the tournament. And uh, it is a great way to introduce the championship, of course. Uh, first, do do the do the best of seven, and uh, and uh, uh, type of things that you did with like uh, Carmelo Hayes and Andrade, or like uh, Booker T. Chris Benoit back in the day, or Booker T. Scott Steiner, or, uh, back in the day. Hey, uh, do stuff like that for the title. Just ma just definitely make it mean something. And I think that's what we want to see with this women's mid card championship. If we had been asking for it uh, for a while. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll, uh, and and now that we have it, really make it mean something. And like the worst thing to happen to this title would be it falling into kind of obscurity because that would that would kind of suck. I'm not gonna lie, that would that would definitely suck. But but uh, but uh, you have the chance to have a really great title here, and I can't wait to see where it unfolds, and I can't wait to see who will be the inaugural champion. And, uh, as well as with the Air Continental Championship, uh, have I, have I, mainly I'm kind of debating whether or not to, to just title this video like once I you know obviously get it uploaded to just title it uh, Women's United States Championship or uh, Women or Women's Mid Card Championship because I know it's coming, and, but yeah, so mid so Women's Mid Card titles are finally in WWE. What are they gonna do with them? We will find out. But in the meantime, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you did, please do me a favor. Like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, and turn on post notifications so you know every time I upload a video, so you see it, so you can see it as soon as it drops. And let me know in the comments below how, uh, how your thoughts. Are you excited for the Women's United States Championship? And who do you want to be the inaugural champion? But in the meantime, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later.
case. And also, well, let me know in the comments, and uh, screw it, let me know in the comments who you think will be the inaugural women's intercontinental champion. And uh, as well, hell, uh, hell, uh, I probably, you know what, I, I think I'll stick with women's United States championship for this video. And then once the women's intercontinental championship is announced, I'll do like kind of a kind of a pseudo part two, and I'll talk about that championship. But uh, until then, thank you all so much for watching. I will see you guys later. Peace.